So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. His I'm in class. Everything's cool. cool. So I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Frankly, it's bullshit. But I like it old school. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And capture you in a moment of desperation. 
I haven't and kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> the point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Huh, this might make a cool shot. is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an... Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participation. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Now, oh. No matter who wins, Hi, Max. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel... You seem quiet today. Process, just thinking too much. I everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. Of course, Victoria has to have- I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell.
Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you right. Welcome to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. picture. I feel like you have to pass some sort of test. Well, because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual.
Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I wish October would last forever. It looks like she's been gone for months. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryout, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Good thing I left my AK at home. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. It looks like she's been gone for months. Nerd alert, this poster has Warren written all over it. There's Juliet from my dorm, yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet would be dating Zachary, jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. The Bigfoot stomp. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. There's the lighthouse again. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. 
Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Now, who would bother to write that crap? I'm good to flow. Thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time condition machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When and I children. took my selfie, Jefferson she asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does and again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that together. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
I know I'm not dreaming this. As you all know, the it's real. Orchard has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation... I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Little after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? <laughs> Bro, Max. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes Contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're nice answer, Max. Are you okay? Class, you look pale. Photo, Kate, so um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just dripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I feel excluded from this process, but... Excuse me. Let one of her... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel! You remember that it's payday? You don't even tease me. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? 
Don't Come on, put that ever. thing down! Tell me what to do. I I'm need so a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why.
Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Clever. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Ow! Oh, dude! Nice, bro! There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, awesome. I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Seriously, Max, I don't want to talk. Oh shit, there's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean process, sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie?
Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? No. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Wait. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice. Two. Do you do you understand English? Get lost. Understand English? Get none shall pass. Capiche? to figure this out. Okay, let's see if this works. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. Okay, let's see if this works. No way! No fucking okay, way! Okay, Victoria? Oh, Samuel, we're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was, but there'll be another. 
Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Okay. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. Yeah. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. Awesome. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. <laughs>